So, do tendons actually inflame? Well, you may think tendonitis, itis, that means inflammation of, which is true. Now, this is actually a term which has become a little bit outdated in more recent times. Uh, I mean, it's gone through ebbs and flows about beliefs behind this. So very early days, they used to think tendon issues, tendon pain was a re uh, basically a response to inflammation. So it was an inflammatory problem. Inflammation caused the pain. So we need to get rid of the inflammation, anti-inflammatory steroid injections and all these things. However, they've gone further into this now and realized that this is not necessarily the truth. They actually went from one extreme to another where they were like, you know what? It's a non-inflammatory disorder. Inflammation is not the cause. It's degeneration of the tendon. So then they went, we shouldn't call it tendonitis. We should call it tendinosis. So that's what they called it for a little while. But then very quickly, they were like, hang on. Inflammation still is coming in. It may not be overly inflamed, but there's inflammation. So maybe we should call it something, you know, meaning both uh, or covering the entire spectrum, which is tendinopathy. And tendinopathy is generally sort of stuck. Uh, and it's just a broad term meaning pathology of, which just means problem with basically. So it kind of covers all, all uh, parameters. Uh, so the thing is, is that, you know, when we, you, when we look at tendon injury and we use anti-inflammatories, we know that healing slows and quality of tissue healing worsens. We also know that if we steroid inject it, you also create that effect. Research on tennis elbow has found this uh, pretty categorically, where the steroid group were worse than any other group in the long term. The short term, they felt better because inflammation obviously went down, um, but inflammation going down it isn't necessarily good. And this is, goes back to other videos I've done where inflammation has been tagged as being a bad thing, but inflammation is what heals you, so you need it. So you don't want to take it away where there isn't enough of it. And that's kind of where tendon sits. Now there is more research more recently, more thinking more recently that there is uh, uh, inflammation tendon wise and where they found this links to more in the earlier stages. So early in fact that you aren't injured, meaning that you overwork the tendon, the tendon then repairs. So you, your body is uh, damaging the microtrauma with bringing some inflammation in. But because of the nature of a tendon with low nerve supply and so on, you don't really feel this. So. It's then when you get disrepair or you don't repair uh, well enough because you're not giving it the time and you're overloading therefore, that then the tendon degenerates. So this is where the pain comes in. Um, so effectively the tendon therefore is not giving you pain because of inflammation, it's giving you pain because it's degenerated. Now, when it goes longer, it turns into another element as, as well. You get chronic pain, so you get more central sensitization, which is more neurological, a bit like phantom limb pain type stuff. But that gets a bit more uh, complicated and we're going to talk about this today. So when it comes to tendons, the answer to the question in the beginning is they do inflame, but not when they're injured, just as a normal response to healing. And the reason they hurt is not necessarily inflammation based. It's more degeneration based, damage based, and it's because it didn't get, get the opportunity to heal uh, when it needed it. So taking anti-inflammatories routinely uh, and obviously injecting tendons and things like that is all not such a great idea. Uh, the key is trying to get the right loads, the right progressions of loads. Uh, obviously, if there's any biomechanical faults causing abnormal loads, all these things to try and get to the root of the problem and try to not get the tendon to the point of a disrepair. So yeah, so hopefully in a roundabout way that answers the question. So it sort of does, but not how you think. Um, so that's it for today and I'll see you next time.